Haha. Ha -ha. Well, all right. I think we're ready to go. What is up, Streambirds? It's another time. Not time for another Steambirds Alliance live stream with the devs. Uh, oh, I didn't hide our icons again. Dang it! Uh, <laughs> uh, I'm your host, Ray. I do design on this game. I do. Um, currently, I am designing quests so that you know people have things to do when they play the game. Uh, who would like to introduce themselves? Hello? Uh oh. Hey, there you guys are. <laughs> <laughs> right. I was wondering about you I just did uh, my, dropping yeah. off the call and still doing the stream intro. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, I don't know what happened there, but apparently it's yeah. Anyway, I did my I did my introduction. Would somebody else like to introduce themselves? <laughs> um, oh, am I introducing myself now? Do I have alphabetical superiority this week? Yeah, uh, yeah. If you want to, I was actually gonna try to like let people do do it for themselves. What? I'm Allie. I'm an artist. I model things. It's pretty great. Who's next? Yeah. I can't see the screen. <laughs> uh, alphabetically uh, to you, Francois. Uh, uh, hey, I'm Francois. I'm uh, one of the engineers and w mostly working on uh, Steam at the moment. Hi, I'm Pat. I'm a game designer at Spray Fox. I sometimes do VFX for Steambirds, but I haven't worked on this game in weeks. But you still bring the enthusiasm, and that's what matters. Yeah, I guess I come on these streams usually, and it's a form of work. <laughs> I know it sounds fun, but it takes effort. I'm getting paid for this. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so, uh, you know what, guys? I think I messed up. I think the quests are, uh, not in the tavern right now. <gasps> so you're gonna have to do quests, uh, or actually givers, space, or I think giver space, all, all quests, one word. Quests. Let's see, I think I need to change my plane. This is actually a plane that I think I raised to the correct level through gameplay last week, so I'm going to save it. Um, what tier should we be? Oh yeah, what tier? 20? Uh, oh, that's low. I'm going to do it with T... At T4, you should probably see some of these new quests. Um, I hear a lot of leveling up over there. I was accepting, accepting a lot of quest rewards. Yeah, now I just good. have guard the goose. Is that right? That doesn't sound right. Uh, you're probably too high level, maybe. Um, if you go, if you become T4 first before you start accepting quests, I think you'll see uh, see a better selection. Okay, so I do the the command again. Uh, yeah, yeah, just do T4 and then do uh, quests. All quests, and then we can check out some quests. Okay, now I see a lot. Do I want to pick all of them or just some of them? Uh, let's pick some, like the ones that are on the list uh, that I p posted earlier. We want to do those ones. So I see okay. War Horse. I see Obey Scoopla. Obey yeah, I saw that one too. Okay, let's see, where is it? How come I'm not seeing Obey Scoopla? Oh, there it is, Obey Scoopla. Okay. Horse. Yeah, these Just are both defined enemy crabs. Uh, uh, define enemy crabs. Is that in there? So many quests now. Look at that. So many quests. I like ominous shark music. That's a great name. <laughs> um, so. Uh, Nevik Link says raise camera or riot, so I guess once again go play League of Legends because Ray doesn't have a camera. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, my camera's still broken. I was thinking about re like hoping to replace it by today, but um, I didn't. So instead, I'll just uh, I'm gonna enlarge my my icon here and just wiggle it around to give it sort of this lifelikeness. Here we go. Uh, 
<laughs> Every time I talk, I'll just do this. It's like a South Park character. What's up, y'all? <laughs> <laughs> See, oh, just man. as good, everyone. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> better good. even. Oh, better. I just realized I could just put my character icon, or my, like, my dev uh, icon over my, uh, my character icon on the top. And it kind of it kind of fits nicely. There we go. Oh yeah. Nice. Okay. Well, so <laughs> now that we've solved that problem, you guys want to play the game? <laughs> All right. So yes. I, have, I have War Horse assigned. Should we just go do that one first? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So since it's a it's a actually um, you know it, these these quests are designed for mostly one or two people to do it at the same time, and this is four of us. Let's challenge ourselves and do it at T2. Hey, okay, we're already T4, right? Yeah, but you can, uh, once you accept, accept the quest, you can tier, you can change your tier. I'm also challenging myself and using shield man, which I'm not used to. Oh, nice. And that means I'm, I'm using controller, which I'm also not used to. Whoa. What do all these buttons do? <laughs> MIG Terror made it. Yeah, and Goose asks if the Goose has a new model yet, and it does. It did last week, I think, as it well. It did. I don't know if we actually played Guard the Goose last week, though. I think we showed it a little, but I do think that Goose was not here last week. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can show it off later, um, if somebody has the quest or something. I do have the quest. I have it presently. Mm. So we may see some, some Goose. All right, I'm in the overworld, and I am heading towards the war horse. It's going to be a little trek. Oh, you should show off uh, Francois' shield maiden also. Oh, yeah. Um, let's do, let's give, yeah, we'll, we'll do like a proper presentation of it later um, in the in the overworld. But, yeah, we got some new art. On, actually, I like all the basic classes are art in now, right? Yeah, they should be. Yeah. Man, the shield maiden looks so cool, though. I like it you call it my shield maiden, even though I had like zero part in making it. <laughs> well, it is the ship that you're flying. It's good enough for me. Yeah, that particular that particular instantiation of the uh, of the shield maiden is yours. That's how you do super speed. It's like just playing a new game, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I definitely have my like preferred controls. I don't think I even use the default controls. I do something else. All right, Warhorse is coming up, and this guy's like, this guy's huge. He's what? He's huge. Huge. He's huge. Whoa. I just teleported right as an explosion happened, so it was a very satisfying teleportation moment where I exploded into action. No, I'm hurt. Oh. That no. And you guys no. can feel free to no. use uh, feel free to use epic if you guys want to just not deal with dying. Ooh, ouch. I just mm -hmm. wanted to fight that train for uh, reference, because we're basically fighting a, a gigantic version of the train. Whoa! This is definitely gigantic. Whoa, yeah, it's awesome. I'm here now. <gasps> Adam. Oh, Adam! Welcome. Nice. I'm not in the game, I just, uh... Oh, that's too bad. I felt ball. kind of like a Han Solo moment, like we're about to lose the big thing, and then you, like, come in at the last second to save the day. <laughs> oh, speaking of losing, goodbye, Pat! Pat! Oh. No. That giant train looks awesome. Thanks. The giant train is completely cool and also kind of ridiculous. Actually, I don't know why I said thanks, because, like, you guys made it look awesome. I just put it in the, I just put it in the game. <laughs> Don't don't undersell your um, contribution, uh, Ray. You made the scale two x in the config. Yeah, I just <laughs> I a game, number. If you didn't do that, what would we even be talking about? <laughs> exactly. 
Yeah, we killed it. All right, the next one's spun. It's spun quite a f quite a ways away, so we're gonna have to travel. Um, Goose says, "Don't do beta until summer because my GPU is broken and I can't fix it until summer." Oh no! Uh, that's very selfish of you, Goose. Don't you want other people to play the game? You'll I mean, still be able to play it at the same time. I'm Why thinking about a dedicated Please? GPU, so... We were gonna do beta in the summer, but Goose's GPU takes precedence, so... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, folks. We don't know. Oh, wow. I have a lot less health than I'm used to. <laughs> Bye, Zero. Shortly after same. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> Zero. All right. Got him. All right, you guys better get over here if you want credit for the. Uh... Oh jeez. No, oh, I got wounded. Back to the rebel city. Oh, 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 oh. Maybe press the wrong teleport ow, button. Ow, ow. That is key mark. Jeez, I'm getting attacked by two wraiths, which is what's, brutal. What's the uh, the lore for this war horse? Uh, it's just like a, it's like sort of this like terror train that goes from uh, settlement to settlement that supports the steambirds, like that supports the rebels and uh, just decimates them. So if there's like anybody that's even rumored to be helping the uh, the steambirds, then this this war horse goes around and just murder them. Man, we already can't hear Ray sometimes. It's so early. Oh yeah, that's right. We we're gonna try Slack this week, weren't we? Yeah, we were. Oh that. shoot. All right. Well, uh, just you know, smile or nod. Do the usual. Um, Goose says, "Ha ha! I got the beta news revealed." Ha ha ha. <laughs> Which I'm not quite sure is exactly what happened, but. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> All right, one more war horse to kill. Nevik Link says, "People use Slack still." What? Yeah. <laughs> have people I have down? eight Slack teams I'm a part of right now. Wow. Including uh, Spray Fox. I, I will kill them as soon as I possibly can because I just it, I don't like being. I'm in. Five, but every time I can drop one off my computer, I'm like, oh, that feels so good. Adam, you're kind of quiet. I can barely hear you. Oh no! It is a travesty. I need more of your concentrated awesomeness. One of my Slack teams is just me and my wife. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. <laughs> <laughs> The secret I actually, to a successful relationship. Yeah, I we, only we have even have separate ch channels, even though there's only two of us chatting. <laughs> that is amazing. The channels are baby, household, and frivolous fluff. Frivolous fluff. That's adorable. Yeah. Yeah. And that's that cute. the cutest thing I've heard all day. And I've heard yeah. my own voice on the stream. Sarah, Sarah and I just <laughs> used a, a private DM in the uh spray fox slack and almost instead of like texting now it's just our like remote communication that's amazing and hilarious yeah what so... happens when you're on quiet hours you just don't message each other anymore well <laughs> i mean like if we're in that's nighttime and we're usually just like either on the couch or sleeping that's fair so... Oh, ouch, should not have done that. I almost died. <clears throat> Goose says it would be cool if there was a giant ship with two cannons in the front, then you can call it the war elephant. We do have an elephant. Or oh, maybe a mammoth boss yeah, already. Yeah, we do have a we do have an elephant boss, mammoth boss in the uh, the ice dungeon. You should spawn it right now for Goose. <laughs> but it doesn't it doesn't have uh, cannon tusks. It does not, it just has Tusk tasks. Yeah. Ow. So, War horse uh, moves around quite quickly. It's cool chasing the warhorse through these 
balls. Yeah, look at this guy go. <laughs> oh, I gotta cross the tracks. Ow. All right. These bullets are hilariously large. Yeah, we did it. Yeah, you can see some sort of like weird gap in one end of them. Oh yeah, there's like a... Oh yeah, interesting. It's probably because Ray is blowing up my tiny little bullet sprite. Like Makes a sense. million times larger yeah. than it's supposed to be. Yep. Thanks, Ray. That's exactly what I do. It's <laughs> my secret. You're like, oh, Pat, mi Pat missed a couple pixels. Let's make that gigantic and stream it. <laughs> <laughs> and let's point it out. <laughs> All right. Uh, I'm switching over to Obey Scoop Law, and I'm going to go back to T2. I'm going to complete my Warhorse mission. Okay. Well, then, uh, if, yeah, actually, it's, it's totally okay if you guys want to, like, branch off and keep doing the, some of the missions, because uh, we don't have to do every mission with four people. Yeah, but we want to have lots of people on the stream. On screen for the stream. That's true. Uh, yeah, would you be willing to abandon your, <laughs> abandon your post <laughs> and help with the scooping? Uh, Riftblade asks, so I have access to the game. Thank you guys for that. Is there a timeline for when I'll be able to get in there and see that awesome alley art firsthand? Soon. That is... Soon. <laughs> I like that answer. I was going to say something else, but that's good enough. <laughs> I was going to go with eventually. Soon seems just like going to get their hopes up, though. I mean, soon in like the cosmic sense. Yeah. In the geological <laughs> sense. Likely right? within your lifetime. Before the sun goes out. Oh, yeah, yeah, considering the life of the universe and our humanity's tiny fraction of that, then beta is coming very soon. Alright, I found a goose. I found a goose beacon. Uh, goose. Let's do it. Let's go the goose. goose. I love the little like, steamy, steamy jets. It's so cute. Yeah, this is a cool looking ship. I feel like uh -huh. we, should, we should like reuse it it's for like... other things. No, 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 wait. Ray, you don't understand every... how to make <laughs> things special, Ray. Yeah, every time, every time you you do a, a mission like this, you design one. You know, just let us know, and it will get a snazzy new ship. Man, I, just, I feel so bad though, making us do stuff. You're giving us a job. You're, yeah. you're, you're, you're. you're, you're we have job, job security creation. because You're yeah, a job because creator, Ray. I'm a job <laughs> creator. Wow. Man, that's I've, I've been getting a lot of like flattering labels. Somebody called me a quest wizard today, uh, like this week, and I was like, um, well, actually, yes, I am a quest wizard. Yeah, I wonder who possibly could have said anything like that. <laughs> there was um a specific piece of concept art in our like inspiration folder a big um kind of meaty uh diesel punky slightly anime uh bomber um that, no. that uh directly inspired the look of this of the goose oh it it was it was uh such a cool looking it actually looked a little um advanced wars or something like that it was a really cool looking plane um, and I tried to bring certain elements of it into the player planes, and they always got shot down, uh, which is good. I love where all the player planes ended up, but we finally, because of this mission, we had a reason to, you know, go really big on that stuff. Nice. And I am happy. Yeah, that's awesome. It turned out great. So I have a question. Um, I'm in this thing called a shield maiden. Does it have a shield? I mean, it's uh, yeah, it yes. has like a shield aura that you can do as a, as a special ability. You're using a controller for the first time, right? Yep. Which controller are you using? Uh, it's an Xbox One controller. Uh, Xbox press... One. Oh, Xbox One, right. Mm -hmm. I thought you meant yeah, yeah, the yeah. first Xbox. <laughs> I was like, what the hell? I don't know why. I, don't, I never understood why they named it Xbox One when it was to obviously confuse. Xbox Three. Yeah. Aha. Uh -huh. Figured it out. Sweet. I, I think it's just because they like the idea of the X-Phone. X-Phone? Yeah. yeah. That's probably what it is. Alright, we got a, we got ourselves a scooper, or a, a greater pooper here. A greater pooper. Ah! Is that um, what this little thing is? 
Yeah, the thing that's like, oh, well, that's that's its poop. That's the that's the poop. Oh no. <laughs> the poop cat. Yeah. Oh, there it is. There it is. Cat. Cat. This guy. Is a, this guy is a hazard for sure. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. You Are these come up. stink lines? The poop is shooting at us then. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like poop hazard. <laughs> I don't know how to this. <laughs> Pat him out his team, I can't save you now. Okay, I'll run away. You really gotta like chase after these guys. Goose says he thinks we should have a mini skin of the goose. Oh, interesting. Nice. Uh, Huddy is also upset he can't see your face, right? <laughs> you're just trying to hide the fact that you shaved from the I stream. did, yeah, you're right. I should. I should. <laughs> to, to, to everyone's disappointment. Except my own, apparently. So, what did everyone who worked on this game work on last week, this week? Yeah, we didn't do that at the game. Um, I went away, way, Ellie. Excellent question. <laughs> the answer to it for me is the same as it ever was. I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> That's a funny answer, but you also said it in the most pathetic way possible. Just like your tone was was really like sad and confused. Slightly. Very good. Honestly, I'm slightly concerned for my memory because I can apparently never remember what I did over the last week. I mean, I write stuff down. I can't remember what I do the end of the day. Uh, yeah, I have stuff to, I did. I'm yep. sure I told Adam in Slack at some point. It was fine. Uh, you, you, uh, geez, what did you do? <laughs> it's really funny because I assigned you tasks and I don't remember what you did. Um, yeah, it's good. I uh, did some variant drawing. Oh, you did that. that you did, did like. the. And you, I made a hog model edits, and I made a beacon. That's right. That's and I right. made a burb. Oh, no, one's playing, no one's playing the hog. That's new this week, too. Yeah, oh, there, yeah. there's a hog. That's oh, yeah. something uh, interesting that I've done. Made a hog. The... I like how when you remembered one thing you've done, it like all the last rest just came like an avalanche. And no, I just scrolled up through my Slack chat with Adam until I saw the list of things I did last week. Nice. You also did a new beacon for um, yeah, true. Allied Quest, although it's not actually in the game yet. Quit yeah. freaking call beacon. <laughs> not a sponsor. Yet. Uh, oh, that's probably like a local plumbing company in Seattle. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, right, of I course. <laughs> anyway, there's a plumbing company called Beacon, and that's their their catchphrase. <laughs> did you get the, did you get the quest item, that. Francois? I did not. You didn't? Okay. didn't me. I am once again pretending to do quests, but really just flying next to Ray and shooting stuff. <laughs> nice. Where is Ray? Uh, the sentence says, Beacon plumbing ads making me miss home. <laughs> you bring the nostalgia, Pat. Unexpected beacon related nostalgia. Wait, somebody's from Seattle? Allie, quit freaking. <laughs> <laughs> Just call beacon. Is somebody from Seattle? Senlet, I assume, is from Seattle. Okay, wow. Based on this conversation that's happening. I, didn't, I don't know if I've ever noticed the little, like, uh, you, can you see the little, like, structure down there? On the lower uh, part yeah. of the wall? Oh, wow. Yeah, I don't know if I've ever seen that before. Goodbye, <laughs> <That was laughs> Pat. Pat. I like started a teleport just before I died. I want to come see. <laughs> Shut up. <laughs> so the uh, terrain in the graveyard is inspired by the ruins at Petra. So you have a lot of uh, like temply looking things built into the rocks. Wow. Like, because it's so foggy uh, in that zone. Um, they sort of just peek out at you, other than being big and in your face. Man, that's so cool. It's just like, I mean, it's like a, it's, it's just like a background detail, but it just made, yep. I don't know, it was just like such a cool moment just seeing that right now. Yeah. The edges of these are so straight. Makes me want to mess them up. Round them up. Put some, put some dents in them. Yeah. These cliffs. 
Has anybody been able to catch up to the greater pooper or is it too fast? I wasn't trying very hard. Have you at least seen the greater pooper? I've heard I've of it. I've seen the greater pooper. It's not my fa I'm here! I'm here! Oh, there it goes. Damn, it's fast. Yeah, it, stops, it might though. be a little bit too fast. I'm rocking the hog. I honestly think oh, I get yeah, overly nice. distracted by the pooper's poop. Yeah, the pooper's poop is a... Uh, it's a real problem. <laughs> it's a terrible decoy that is very distracting. Yeah, so this is like, um... The story behind this quest is that, like, the dogs are, like, creating a lot of quote-unquote waste. Uh... Because they started eating something differently recently, and... Um... They need, like, a new, like, waste disposal unit to, t to deal with it. Why are there so many waste disposal quests now, right? There, is, there isn't. It's just the. Uh, it's it's this this. It's just this one. I guess. Oh, the other one's the the meat. I was thinking of the deer meat one. Oh, the deer meat one. Yeah, that one's pretty gross. Yeah. Have, have you gotten a pet in, a pet and you're projecting onto the game? <laughs> <laughs> Actually, I, I didn't write this one. Uh, dank dank did. Okay. He was, he was particularly excited about getting this in the in the game. <laughs> he was the one that named the greater great pooper too, so I think he was like happy to have have given it some uh, given it some actual story background story. Um, I've never been so excited to have poop in my inventory. <laughs> yeah. Navic Link asks, "What play is Ray using? Because he looks like Santa's sled." And I believe the answer is he's using the boar skin of the assault mm -hmm. in red. That's right. Yes. The warthog. Uh, Nemec Link also says, Ray's quest skills are shitty. Ah! Uh, <laughs> shot. <laughs> also not cool. <laughs> oh, nice. Oh, Jesus, guys. Poop it everywhere! Bye, Francois. Goodbye. You will be missed. We should, uh... Man, I lost the poop, too. <laughs> Devastating. Ellie, we should do a new model for, uh... The Great Poopers. Poop. Mine. Thing. Be the, uh... <laughs> that, because that one, I feel like we use it for... Normal Everything? floaty mines. Yeah, we kind of use it everywhere. We use it everywhere. Yeah, we should have something that looks more like... A little bit more impressive. What if it was like this coily brown machine? No, 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 no. no. We're not. We're not. Stop. <laughs> it's too far. No. Um. Okay. Goose asks, "Is there a lesser pooper?" And no, there's a great pooper and there's a greater pooper. Yeah, I think it's like the, you know, the cat. You know how cats get really like happy with themselves after using the bathroom. I think that's what that unit's all about. <laughs> anyway, I, Absolutely. I think, I think this... Agreed. Uh, <laughs> Did you guys not hear me again? Yeah, <laughs> yeah you said I'm that. <laughs> okay, well, I think I've had enough of Obey Scoop Law. I think it needs a little bit of adjustment, adjustment. so uh, let's move on to Defiant Enemy Crabs. We're like right on schedule. Each quest is taking about 15 minutes. We're professionals. I did it again. Ah. <laughs> Call for help. <laughs> <laughs> Pat, are you okay? I'm okay. <laughs> I'm watching, um... I'm watching the stream on my television, because my, you know, normal work situation is a little different this week. Mm -hmm. And the game looks really effing cool on TV. Oh, yeah? It does. Uh, it looks so good. Thanks. What, what level should we be? Hey. Whoa, Daniel's here. Sorry, I was lurking. <laughs> I appeared. I noticed when you connected, so I was entirely unsurprised. I think we're, we're between levels uh, six and eight. 
And we're busy fighting crabs at the moment. Nice. Oh yeah. We're looking. You'll need to go to the um, all quests, like special quest giver to get the quest we want. Yeah, we're doing defiant. We just started defiant enemy crabs. Which is probably not its final name. Oh yeah, that's right. Actually, this, this guy reminds me. Um, I was gonna ask you guys to make a flipped version of the the crawler or the the fisher crab that's Flip facing the other way. I don't know if he stopped speaking or if he cut out. Oh, this yeah. is the joy of speaking to Ray in Skype when he's streaming. Yeah. Um. No, I said uh, I need I need a new model for the the fisher crab that's turned around. Oh, okay, that's easy. Yeah. So like right now we don't it, it, it like. There's a sort of a restriction with the the movement rule that I'm using to make this guy circle around players, and because of that, the bubbles are coming out of its butt. Yep. Is there a secret um, um, place I can get missions from? Yeah, it's um yes. yeah you go to you do slash giver um, space all quests one word. All quests. I got them all. Yeah, but you, oh, but you do need to be you do need to be T4 before you go into there so that you can see the uh, see the uh. proper quest. Yeah. It's, uh, so, Francois, that's the other thing I wanted to talk to you about. Is there a way we can make a giver not have to not use the um, the level restrictions? Sorry, Ray, you cut out. Um, you it'd be nice if the all quests um, quest giver didn't use the uh, the level restrictions at all so you can like choose any quest still not working uh, I, I, I'm picking up fragments it's like code breaking <laughs> trying to figure out what you're saying okay never mind I'll, I'll, I'll tell you later <laughs> I think I think I get the the gist of what the issue is um, so yeah let, um, we basically we need some way that when testing we can just access any quests we don't have to worry about them being scheduled or anything uh, um, actually not just that but the the level restrictions that we put on it oh uh, okay yeah so specifically the level restrictions yeah just yeah so we, we could like, we, we, mm -hmm. we could have a, um, a way of, of getting past that cool awesome that is most excellent Certainly not by dying like I just did. <laughs> oh no, Pat! <laughs> I appreciate how people still cry out, oh no, Pat, every time I die, even though I do it like every two minutes. <laughs> <laughs> this never gets old. <laughs> oh. What should be our um, our active quest? Defiant enemy crabs. Okay. I believe you. <laughs> well, I said it so convincingly after all. Uh huh. Oh, weird. I see a floating effect right here. Oh, do you? I just like uh, see that. A soulbound effect I'd... with no item. Yeah, that bug has been fixed, just on this bolt. Gotcha. Soulbound. So, like, um, I think uh, one thing I was thinking was it'd be nice if we can uh, put the limit, or we can um, change the limit on when the where the next the 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 distance limit on where the next quest target spawns. Uh, per quest. Does that make sense? Yeah, I know like, what you mean. Yeah, because some quests um, I think it's okay for us to have to like travel far to find the next target, but other quests I think it's it'd be nice if like all the all the different spawns happen in a similar area. Yeah, I think we need a way to um, narrow down the, the area yeah, somehow. Yeah. Yeah. No. 
Is it just searching for a territory? Is that what it's doing? Uh, it's a territory and yeah. an opening within the territory. Ah, gotcha. Oh my god, it's a giant. It's an enemy cat. Oh. Is anyone else getting jerky movement on this? Mm -mm, no. Might be your connection. I mean, yeah. it is jerky, but it's like intentionally jerky. Is it? The crab? Or. Yeah, the crab. Oh. It, it moves a little. Yeah. It moves a little bit, and then it moves a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, that's that's intentional. That's how, honestly. That's how crabs walk. Right. Yeah, yeah I was trying to make like, them scuttle a little, you know. Yeah, it feels a little weird. Okay. It feels it feels clunky. Too clunky. Like it's broken. Yeah. Gotcha. Basically, anytime we do a, a waypoint movement and you like move quickly with no acceleration or deceleration, um, and uh, it's not or it's, it it basically feels bad. Mm. Okay, I can uh, yeah. just make it move at a constant rate. Pat, why are you dying so much? Uh, I don't know. Maybe I'm not pretty good at this game. No. <laughs> uh, are you trying out a new class? Trying. To I was I was playing the hog earlier, which is funny because that's supposed to be the class you don't die as much in. Right. Uh, I was pretty sure that was the medic. Oh yeah, that's true. I don't play the medic, so maybe that's the problem. Man, Francois looks so cool. Yeah, but doesn't his plan look cool too? That's true. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sick compliment. <laughs> <laughs> I, I know this sounds like horribly like I don't know what the term would be like we've already made a decision and now I'm like having second thoughts um, having seen the uh, the shield maiden uh, I'm, I'm now not as excited about the the um, quad oh, <laughs> it's like that meme Oh, yeah, that meme. The the meme. The, <laughs> the, the, the dude the, looking at the, the, the other girl meme. At, yeah, yeah, the rubbernecking yeah. meme. Yeah. <laughs> I, think, I think the Drake meme also works here too. Really, probably one third of memes. Yeah. Uh -huh. the, the American yeah, Choppers. Preference. American Choppers, but they're arguing about whether it should be mechs or helicopters. Yeah, yeah. yeah totally. <laughs> So from now on, it's all our like game design arguments which presented in the forms of memes. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, our stream feels so relevant right now. <laughs> Honestly, the way Good. people use socially awkward, socially awesome Penguin now, I totally apply as well. See, I'm not I didn't have enough to know that. I don't know that one either. Uh... I thought you guys were cool. Oh no, no, we're faking it. Yeah. We researched this stuff at night. Yep. That's the <laughs> <way>. <laughs> I have a newsletter memes for <laughs> people who are out of it. I, I think socially awesome penguin is like a, a vintage meme at this point. That's like two years old or something? It's like five, six, seven years old. Oh, what? Just twisting the knife, Ellie. <laughs> <laughs> know your meme, guys. I'm, I'm actually looking at know your meme right now. <laughs> 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 I'm really glad that. Oh, weird! Good. I've never seen this one, but it's like what a similar, similar setup to like oh, uh, Velociraptor or something like that. Is that yeah, what we're doing? Yeah. What are it's those? What are those? Courage again? Wolf. Oh yeah, yeah. Classic what are the, image macro. What are the yeah. uh, the animal motivational animal ones called? They they have a name. It's like a category. For which? Like all the all the all the animal ones where it's like an animal in the middle and it's just like a really simple background. Um, yeah. What are they called though? They're like something animals. Advice animals. Advice. Yeah, advice animals. That's it. That's what it is. Has everyone killed all the Fisher crab bits? I, I guess I'm not have. getting. I got. Mm. I just finally got my third part, so I just finished the quest. All right. Yeah, I'm gonna have to I need one it. more. I've only got one, so but I'm behind. Let's see. Oh wait, I gotta go to the tavern to turn this in. That's right. Giver tavern. 
So I, I desperately want a speed engine for these these quests. Yeah, we were just talking about how maybe the uh, the spawn distance could be adjusted um, for the for the next target on a per quest level. Hi, Mini. Yeah, yeah like at the quests. moment oh, they're sorry, kind of on purpose designed to be spread out. Um, but yeah. Yeah, depending on the like, depending on the target, I think it sort of feels bad to have the the next target be super far away. Um, and also, if we um, if we make it so some of the quests like the next target spawns really close, then we can like raise up the number of things you have to kill um, to something higher. So this like it makes it e a lot easier to tune these experiences too. How do I change which mission shows up in the right corner? Uh, mission log um, in the options menu. What's that? Mission log in the So options everyone menu. started speaking and then everyone stopped because everyone was speaking. Uh, you can go to your menu and click on the mission log and select one. Right, I always forget about that UI. We've, ha we've had a lot of uh, moments during the stream that are like um, perfect textbook examples of what it's like to work at Sprite Box. The <laughs> random compliments, the everybody talking and then everybody's not talking. Uh, all yes. we need is all we need is someone to make a joke that no one laughs at and then a bunch of people unmute and say, I was muted but I laughed at that. <laughs> that is my favorite. <laughs> yeah, Whoa. that's my favorite too. Look at this right. rock formation by me. It's got a little like ninja star cut out at the top. Oh man! Really? All right. I got. I was going off. towards the crab, but oh, I need yeah, to come cool. hang out. Oh yeah, that's great. Wait, 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 wait. wait. Stay there. I gotta. I gotta <laughs> yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, race, yeah. race in Nexus right now, and you're talking about something cool. <laughs> <laughs> it's like uh, this is the same oh. background apps that happened to spawn four together and then uh, just rotate yeah, it perfectly. Yeah. Yeah, you know, this this war horse is immense. Where the heck did that thing come from? It's uh, it's one of the quests. Nice. Yeah. It's so good. It's, it's so, so big. It's so fun to make like sort of like oh, mini so, boss it's huge. Versions. Yeah. <laughs> I love it. We need it. to, we need to uh, do a new engine for that one. Yeah. 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 Totally. It's all the, that, all the little that, tiny that, ones. Yeah. My 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 uh, hope for the war horse is that it gets kind of like a horse head in the front. Yeah, no, I mean like sort yeah, of course. But that kind of shows like just the power of um of uh just increasing the size of something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah although there's like um some other adjustments that needed to go into it like um the the gun mounts don't scale with the art. So like, oh, okay. um, yeah, yeah. So there's like, um, so that's that's something worth considering though. Like, if we're doing like the mod system later, then um, then maybe we want we would consider like you know changing the gun mount sizes as well. Mhm. Mm so what mission are people doing now? Um, I'm actually just about to go accept some other ones that are in a higher bracket. Uh, so let's see, T5, and then I'm oh, gonna I do all quests. Eradicator. Eradicator is a good one. I almost one. wish there was a hotkey for me to like cycle through my missions that I have oh, yeah. to like change the selected one. Yeah, that's a good idea. Yeah, that is a good idea. Uh, where is Eradicator? What's, what and maybe it says that? like mission T3 Warhorse 3 of 6 or something. Yeah. Let's see, okay. I see Fire Bomber. What I tier? hate what? white whale sharks. <laughs> what tier is uh, Eradicator? Uh, it's four. T four. Okay. Why am I not seeing it? Oh, that's weird. Um, Huddy says Warhorse should be a top tier roaming event, and Goose says that uh, he thinks we should make one even bigger. <laughs> 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 but yeah, I, I agree that like a, a group event, um, like for war, something like Warhorse would be amazing. Um, Neviclink asks, can you make your plane black? Uh, uh, are, yeah, the, all, the old faithful has a black plane, and uh, what, what was what was our decision on custom colors? So the I think where we ended up was um, that you buy paint and um, players can just paint their whatever colors they want so um yes you can you can you can have it be whatever color we don't have uh i think that is done already but it's not actually in the game in a um 
kind of usable way. The tech is there, but the, the interface isn't quite there yet. So all of the color um, options are um, like predefined by me uh, with like the green and dark blue and yellow being um, the default colors. Mm -hmm. uh, but uh, yes, in the future, you can customize your plane. That's, uh, that was a very important thing to me personally, and I think probably to just about everybody else on the, on the team. Yeah, I'm, uh, I'm showing off the uh, the new models right now in the uh, in the hangar. Oh yeah. Yeah. The oh man, the hog looks awesome. It's just like yeah, hog looks great. Yeah, it's so it's very different from all the other planes. I that's, I like, you know, it's and, and I think I feel like you can tell what it does just from looking at it, which is cool. Yeah. Oh, and the shield maiden is just amazing. I just love the feathers coming out. Uh, Nivik Link says buy paint with real money. Question mark. Yeah, yeah, it will be a in-app purchase for paint. Well, I think probably via a, a currency that you can also earn in-game, right? Uh, yeah, we will have a way of doing that. We haven't quite figured out how to how, how to deal with scrap, but um, we will have it. We have, will have a, a in-game currency that you can uh, earn with time. Well, I meant like, so it's maybe say gold. I'm not sure what who said it on a word yet. But um, you'd probably also be able to get that by trading for it, by getting right. like if, yeah. Stuff. If we, when we do the trade system, the idea is that you can actually earn gold uh, through trade. So that that would be another way of getting getting the currency for the store. Um, Goose says the hog needs tusks, um, which would be a fun skin. Oh, I, yeah, I was just gonna say, I wonder if Tusk will show up on a very... Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, Goose also asks, what does the GSE cargo ship stand for? Which I believe is the Goose ship's uh, name. Yes, um, I don't know. I don't think we actually have a... Well, I don't know. Thank, thank you, you named it that way, right? Did you have anything for that? It's supposed to be funny. <laughs> that is a perfect opportunity for us to all laugh later on and say that we were being Well, the thing is, that usually happens on the all Spry Fox calls when we don't want to be the one whose mic is on the whole time during a giant meeting. Yeah. I try to unmute my mic to laugh at people's jokes sometimes in the Spry Fox calls, and then I'm like the only one who's audibly laughing. It's, it's excellently uncomfortable. Yeah. <laughs> And I did. I did some. I did like the same naming scheme for uh, one of the old bosses. Uh, originally, were called Sneezy because it had this gun in the front that would just like spray everywhere. Um, and then we just renamed it SNZ something. I forget what the name is, but but we all know the team knows it's actually Sneezy. Um, um how do you oh. suggest use shipping enterprise? Mm. Oh wow! I like it. It's a business. Um, so what, what uh, quests are people on? So this is something I would love to know is like, uh, what quests people are on. Um, and know, like, that, oh, sorry, that might be something that, you know, you could point to somebody on the radar or something and see the name of their quest. Mm. I don't know if that's too much. Yeah, we have sort of talked about like ways that we can get other people to join um, active quests that other players are doing, right? So. You can surface it in a similar way so that you can choose that quest. I'm, I'm doing uh, Angels of Death, which is um, oh my god, you fight like squadrons of mecha angels. But like right now, we're uh, there's a fire bomber right next to it. That's a, that's a new that's a new unit. It's like a boss version of the the bomber robot. I'm gonna strategically retreat. Yeah, it's yeah. What it's what is the name of this quest? Um, so I'm doing Angels of Death, and the other one is Fire Bomber, actually. I think. Angels of Death. Yeah, you might need to be T5 angels or higher in order death. to um, you might need to be T5 or higher in order to be able to accept it. Well, I don't have Angels of Death. I'm not cool enough. <laughs> Ashes of the Fallen. That's a cool oh, sounding question. Oh, oh man. Oh, I got wrecked. It involves mm -hmm. ashes. Oh, uh, yeah, Ray, you're gonna Oh, you're on Epic. No, you're not. Oh, you're dead. No, I died. See you later. Yeah, I'm, I'm playing <laughs> for What an emotional reals. journey that was. 
Yeah, man, we had like three quest enemies all show up in the same place. That was brutal. All right, I'm going um, to do a different quest. On the subject of paint, Neviclink asks, one-time purchase or do I have to buy, buy paint every time? <sighs> We're still figuring that out. Um, what we do, we have something, we have a new ability that's a little different than we had before, which is the ability to have multiple uses per paint. So we may do something with that. It's undecided, though. Uh, Neviklink asks, is there a doghouse skin for Old Faithful? Doghouse? Like, Snoopy doghouse? That'd be amazing. I wonder uh, if we could do it says... in such, such a way that doesn't get us up, uh, sued. <laughs> up to sued. Um... Really, that, that would be appropriate for Duster, more than Doghouse or bird nest, because peanuts, he says. Yes. That'd be super cool. Oh jeez, oh jeez. <clears throat> I'm going to a mysterious location. I appreciate that it says mysterious location. It makes me curious. <laughs> <laughs> I was um, thinking about that, like running into this uh, oversized enemy and that being this interesting experience. And I'm wondering if it's because of the um, like the light of uh, something unexpected um, and if that's the same sort of uh, emotion and and like train that you get from from comedy and if we can employ the same thing hmm. Hmm. I think so I think so any anything that like breaks your expectations now we can't do it too often or else uh, players be like um, are upset with us you know like bored they'll be like yeah Oh my right, god! But it's, it's, in, it's also interesting that in in Steambirds, it it doesn't it's not necessarily humorous. I mean, you know, picking up poop is pretty right. funny, but but it doesn't have to be. Um, the unexpected can can be delightful as opposed to comedic. Nevicon yeah, guess can there be a bird mech? And I don't understand the question. There are bird mechs. They're all birds. Everyone's birds. Hey, hey look, this guy just taunted <laughs> Don't me. Don't you see? Yeah. <laughs> this boss just taunted like... me with a portrait. That's me. Oh, hey! That's one, is the, that's one of the things that I did uh, this week. Oh, that's super cool. Yeah, oh, also, like, has anybody played as a... Oh, you know what? Shoot. I was gonna have people play as... Um, the Paladin, because the sword just got super buff. But I think we got, you know, there's a lot of cool stuff to look at this week, so we couldn't quite get it. There was so much cool stuff that we couldn't get to all the cool stuff. I'm sorry. It's kind of amazing. I, I don't, like, this sounds kind of weird, because, like, the amount of content that's been added to the game with the quest system is n not how to put it. Um, it's probably, what, like, 5-10%? of what's already in there? Mm -hmm. Is that, I think that an accurate? Be Is it 20%? No, I no. think it might be five or, or less. Yeah. Five, or, yeah, five or less. But um, because it's surfaced so much better, it feels like there's a ton more content to the game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, it seems like Neviclink Nev Nev meant a robot bird, so you are a robot bird inside of a robot bird. Oh. Maybe. Mm. Or, or just, the, I, I think if you make a mech that like, like kind of how the Phoenix uh, boss is kind of a giant uh, bird mech. Mm. You could do something like that where it's a mech, but it's a bird shaped mech. Kind of like, um, what, what, what would be the, uh, the one where all the little cougars get together and like make a big giant robot? Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Ultron. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Oh, that kind of cougar. <laughs> <laughs> that, that what show that is this? Here. It sounds amazing. <laughs> it, it's a comedy from the 80s. Uh, these five cougars get together. 
<laughs> What's this? I need to make new floor for this. this <laughs> oh yeah, yeah. This this is uh, it's not as exciting as our other floors. Yeah, this is definitely a genius. It's funny watching the stream and not playing. I'm usually when I'm playing, I'm trying to not die, so I don't have as much time to notice all of the stuff that I still need to do. Mm -hmm. Hopefully that means the players will never know this. I mean, that, that is probably true. That's, that's, uh... Um, that is such an overly optimistic thing, it can't possibly happen. Well, I mean, like, no, I, uh, one of the best bits of advice, I might have, I've definitely said this to the Sprite Foxes, but I don't know if I've ever said it on the stream. One of the best bits of advice I ever got from my, um, first art director was, uh, put your money on screen, which basically means mm -hmm. don't waste time making stuff that nobody will ever notice. Um, mm -hmm. And uh, the longer you make games, I think you have a better idea of like where that level of detail actually is. Yeah, you know? it really applies to a lot of different things too. Oh, for sure, art. for sure. Yeah, yeah, no, for sure. Mm -hmm. So I think I read the boss text for the first time. The as a portrait. <laughs> yeah, because it's got the portrait there. That's that's kind of awesome. Yeah. Speaking of putting putting your art on the screen. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, I think really in the last few weeks, we've uh, finally gotten to the point where we're, you know, doing stuff that's, um, that's more visible. And, you know, I think the player planes getting all done, having them together as a group mm -hmm. sort of makes the game feel complete. I think the quests, I think having that, those NPC dialogues on the, um, bosses is an awesome addition. Just like a lot of really good stuff was added. I mean, it's kind of stuff that we had, but then it's just, you know, pushing it through, making it appear everywhere. Yep. Um, yeah. Like, I, I was, I was, uh, you were talking about dyes and stuff last night. Like, I was putting together uh, um, configs for things like dungeon keys and, yeah. like, uh, setting up the store uh, configs so that uh, we could have uh, the paint jobs. Um, and uh, we need to still fill out all the paint jobs so that we have we know what our initial set are. Yeah. But um, we actually uh, have a, a paint dot uh, paint dot bites now. I think. So. Who says it would be cool to have a boss guy who is a dog hunter who hunts birds because dogs are used in bird hunting. We do yeah. have the dog base, which involves a lot of dog themed hunting animals. At least dog named. Maybe not super themed, but. And there's a yep. big dog boss there. Mm -hmm. okay. Big dog. The big dog. For a second, when the carrier spawned, I was like, whoa, it just dropped a dungeon thing. <laughs> yes. And I was like, whoa, we have dungeons and dungeons. It's so meta. I mean, that's probably going to happen eventually. It's like Inception. Yeah. You can't more than three dungeons deep. Where yeah. You lose your mind. Uh, <laughs> yeah, it's too deep. But uh, yeah, I was thinking it'd be cool to have like a layered dungeon where it's only you only get a chance of going to the next part, and like in each each encounter is just more and more rare. Be kind of cool. cool. This is a badass setup. The the three shield maidens and two healers. Oh, yeah, that's cool. Ta -da -da. <laughs> so much shields. Yeah. All right, well, uh, we're on the hour now, so I guess let's take some final questions and then call it good. Any final thoughts from the from the team? Any comments on the quests? There's so many quests! Mm -hmm. I'm definitely in favor of the uh, some easier way to join quests other people. Yeah. Because yeah. even, even with voice chat, I have a hard time being on the same quest that you guys are on. Yeah. Yeah, if you could just fly with us um, and get it. That'd be pretty cool. That would be awesome. Yeah. We could also have a contextual uh, mission. Like we could have your active, and we could put another one below it. That might be another one. Like uh, Diablo actually has multiple missions showing up at the same time, mm -hmm. which is a crazy thing to talk about. But we could do that. So that's like the mission that you selected, and then the mission that's in the area that you're in. Or yeah, yeah, yeah. It'd be it would be the mission that, yeah, whatever the, 
the and it, like if there's mission enemies around, it would display one. I don't know. I mean, there's no cost to change in your active mission, right? Like, no, it's just it's just no a UI tasks. So I think it would just be it'd be just as good if I were like flying next to someone and there's a hot key to like switch to their active mission or something. Mm. Um, um, so Goose asks, who is the god of the birds? And I think the answer to that is Horus. Horus. Um, Nevik Link asks, party system question mark? It's in plans. Um, we haven't built it yet, though. What, what, the goal is to have some sort of guild system eventually. Um, so that's that's like one of these big things. Right now we're planning on having it after um, open beta, but um, or in the middle of open beta, somewhere around there. Um, but uh, we were we were hoping to go to beta before that. Um, that's one of those things that we keep we keep going back and forth on because it's such an important thing. But yeah. Um, yeah. Huddy asks, will you ever allow items which are not cosmetic to be sold for viable currency, i.e., microtransactions in pay to win, etc. We really want to avoid pay to win. Um, I think the most likely thing that would happen is we allow um, for certain soulbound items, um, we we would make them tradable. So we did a whole big post on uh, tradable items up on the forum. Um, and so we wouldn't sell things directly, but we would allow players to trade with one another. Um, that's that's the current thinking. Um, so we don't we don't really want to make it pay to win. Um, something we noticed in um, Realm is uh, like people who have overpowered stuff just die if they don't know how to use it. So that that's one of the benefits of a of a permadeath game. Um, but in general, we don't want to do pay to win. That's not our that's not our goal. Mm -hmm. Ooh. Goose asks, Horus symbolized kingship. Does that mean that the birds were once dominant? Yes, it does. The birds were, in fact, dominant. Uh, so there was almost like um, uh, roughly equivalent of uh, almost a European Union um, type setup. So a coalition um, that uh, came out of a dark age. And the birds were were the the dominant uh, politicians, and um, uh, they were they were politicians, and they were also um, uh, the air force. Not surprisingly, um, so yeah. And that that was sort of the grand the grand and old uh, the grand old uh, republic that was destroyed uh, when the when the cats took over. The cats brexited. The cats brexited. <laughs> <laughs> they did a little more than Brexit. Yeah. They they. Uh, they're more along the lines of, uh, you know, ta dictatorial, taking over the world type people. The cosmetic, uh, sorry, the great and powerful leader. Yes. Yeah. Wait, wait, let's get all three of the shield maidens lined up. And then we'll do like a little can-can by doing the guns. So like point yourself downwards and then you can just shoot left, left, right, right, like. <laughs> I want to hear you guys all. Hey. We can we can be uh we can be in the background here. Uh, yeah. <laughs> this is the best thing that's ever yeah, happened to perfect. me. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> Let's get this party going. <laughs> All right, I think I think this is a good place to sign off. Oh, that's wonderful. All right. <laughs> Have a good Cheers week. Everybody. And see you guys next week. <laughs> Woohoo! Take care everyone. Yeah. Good skies. Good skies. Good skies.